Good morning and welcome to Williams Dog Training Company. We're here today with Fred and Delaney and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Delaney's ability to understand and respond to her obedience commands, the corrections and motivations that we give while we're working with her, and the training equipment that we're using. Fred is using a regular six foot training leash and he's going to keep the bulk of that leash folded neatly in his right hand, leaving his left hand free to give the correction. And the correction that we give is a tug and release on the training collar, which is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Delaney has been fitted with her own personal training collar and we will be sure to show you how to properly put that collar on and use it during your one-on-one -on -one lesson. Now Delaney is sitting very nicely on Fred's left hand side, which is where all of our obedience training takes place. The first command they're going to demonstrate for you is healing and healing is proper walking on a leash. Fred and Delaney take off doing that now and the command that you're going to give is Delaney heal and you're going to start walking and then Delaney should fall in line nicely healing on your left hand side. We've also gone, and he gone ahead and incorporated an automatic sit into the heel exercise which means anytime that you're walking with her and you stop she should sit nicely at your left heel position. Also, when walking with Delaney, she should be keeping at your pace and not lagging behind on that leash, nor lunging ahead and pulling on that leash. If she is to do so, give her a nice firm no, followed by a tug and release on the training collar, and repeat the command to heal. The next command they're going to demonstrate is the stay command. It's a hand and voice command. Use the open flat of your left stay. palm in front of her muzzle and the one word command to stay and then walk out to the end of your training leash. Now she should remain seated in this position throughout the entire command and should not break. This is a great command to practice frequently to help build up her ability to sit and stay for longer periods of time. You want to start at one minute and you'll increase your intervals working up to a total of three minutes for your long sit stay. Fred's going to go ahead and return back, walking all the way around, behind, counterclockwise, returning to heel position, with Delaney being back on his left hand side. And they will demonstrate their heel sit and stay for you again. That automatic sit. There you go. Good girl. Open flat, your left palm in front of her muzzle, command to stay out to the end of the leash. Now this time they're going to demonstrate the come or the recall command. You're going to call Delaney in using her name in a happy voice. She should come in and sit directly in front of you. She should not jump up like that. So Fred gave her a slight tug and release, told her no, and she sat. Now heel her around the back of you, returning her to your left hand side. Sitting nicely, good girl, and we'll demonstrate that again for you. You run a sit stay out to the leash. Use her name in a happy tone. She should come in and sit. Much better. Good girl. Around the back of you, returning her to your left hand side where she sits nicely. Good job. It's important to keep Delaney motivated when working her through her commands and you can do this by using positive reinforcement either verbal praise and telling her she's a good girl or physically petting her. The next command they're going to demonstrate is the first of our down commands and it's down from a heel position. Use the open flat of your left palm straight down towards the ground and the one word command to down and then out to the end of your leash again. And with the down stay she should remain laying down and should not break from this position. This is a command that you want to also practice frequently to help build up her ability to downstay for longer periods of time. And with the downstay, you'll start at three minutes and you'll increase your intervals working up to a total of five minutes. Fritz going to return back all the way around. No. Now she did get up. Oh, he said no and she put herself right back down. So he's repeating that again. Again, she should remain laying down in that position the whole time. Much better. This is a good time to remind you as well that you should be setting about 10 to 15 minutes aside every day to work her through her commands in a formal training session as well as incorporating them throughout your daily activities as well.
demonstrating that down for you again. And then this time we'll demonstrate the recall or the come command from the down position where she gets up to come in. Delaney. Good girl. Delaney. Now this last command that they're healing into position four is the second of our down commands, and it's down from a distance. For this command, leave Delaney in a sit-stay, walk out to the end of the leash, and from the end of the leash, use your right hand to give her the down command. Good girl. Now what Fred and Delaney are about to demonstrate for you is a little sample of our advanced off-leash training where he's going to be dropping the leash. This is not something that we recommend you try right away. You want to make sure that she's completing all of her commands for you with her leash and collar. But if you're very diligent with her with her training, in the future you will be able to drop the leash and slowly increase the amount of distance during your sit stays and your down stays. We've demonstrated for you today all the obedience commands that Delaney has learned here at school. It's been a pleasure working with Delaney, and we thank you again for choosing Williams Dog Training Company as your personal dog trainer.